The gathering in the Killyleigh Street Mission Hall on the night of the 3rd of February 1951 was much more fiery than the sodden surroundings outside could have suggested. Having marched from the planned venue for the mission, the Church Hall of Lazaro Presbyterian Church, through torrential rain that night, those who were able to get into the mission hall were obliged to stand throughout the service. All the forms that usually were in the mission hall had been moved over to Lazaro's Church Hall in readiness for the mission that was meant to take place there. Water fell from their clothes that night, forming puddles on the felt floor covering. The crowd was addressed by both of the suspended elders, Mr. Hugh James Adams and Mr. George K. Gibson, and by Reverend Ian Paisley. A resolution protesting against this unjust dictatorship of the Down Presbytery was unanimously passed, and it was agreed that the mission would be held in the Crossgar Mission Hall. After the preaching of the gospel that night, the assembly dispersed, some no doubt gladly to the warmth of their fires and beds, others to make preparation for a protest that would be mounted the next morning. That next morning, the Sabbath, turned Lissara Presbyterian Church into a hive of activity, both inside and out. Outside the church, 30 men from Lissara, evangelical men, led by Reverend Ian Paisley, and including the two suspended elders, paraded and protested against the arrogance of the Down Presbytery and their effective banning of the gospel campaign. The placards had been quite quickly prepared, and they summarised the issue that was at hand. Down Presbytery bans gospel campaign. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Down Presbytery refuses to stand by Crossgar Sessions' decision. Church elders suspended. Campaign will continue in Mission Hall. At the insistence of Reverend Paisley, the majority of those who took part in the protest entered into the church that morning and they listened to the service, including the address by the moderator of the Down Presbytery, Reverend W. M. Boland. The suspension order of the two offending elders was read out at the end of the service. Both men were to remain suspended until they showed signs of repentance. At the close of the service, the protesters took up their position in the picket outside the church again, and they invited their friends and fellow worshippers that day to join them at the old-time gospel mission that was beginning that evening at 8 o'clock. Zero R draws nigh was the way in which this mission in Crossgar had been advertised in the Down Recorder the day before complete with the campaign team being listed of pianist Alistair Mitchell, song leader G.H. McQueen, and of course the preacher, Reverend Ian R.K. Paisley. The special opening subject for Sunday the 4th of February at 8 o'clock was three men going to hell, all living in Crossgar. It seemed that nobody wanted to miss that meeting, possibly out of concern that my name might be mentioned. The Northern Whig reported that an estimated 500 people turned up for the mission on its opening night. The next Sunday night featured a testimony by Mr. William Morgan, Member of Parliament for Old Park, North Belfast. The sermon title for that night, The Liquor Traffic, That Hell Sopped Business. The mission ran for a full four weeks until Sunday the 4th of March 1951. Every night, the evangelist spoke to capacity crowds. A breath of God swept through the town. Three young souls were won for Christ at the opening services, and a total of 94 souls were counseled and professed faith in Christ. And of course, after the mission, began the first free Presbyterian church in Crossgar.